rolling easy back in the easy garage back at you okay <clears throat> got a new tripod so it's a little bit further back but um it's a whole lot taller and it's a whole lot sturdier so um i gotta wrap these cars up because i went shopping this weekend and found some more cars so I'm still trying to catch up videos from last weekend. So this is the uh, basically the second collection that I bought out of the three collections from last weekend. So I'm going to go through it and I'll uh, let you see what I got. Let's see. This is a... Um, now I was glad to get the case. It came with um, one, two, three, four, five six 12 car that's what this holds it's way it's way big but um i was i picked out a couple cars and the guy said well i'm not going to split it up so it sits in there like this kind of like the older matchbox cases it's in very nice shape besides the rip here but when you're toting around that many cars you know, it's, it's going to rip. It's, uh, it is what it is. But this is Sears from Sears. Back in the day, Sears and Roebuck Roadmates, which would have been play art cars. So I didn't have this case, but I picked out a couple cars and then the guy told me I don't want to split them up. And then the price was close to what I wanted to pay for the car. So I said, well, how much for all of it? And he gave me a price kind of weird mix of cars there's some newer cars in there and we'll, let's go over them. let's see what was in this collection um <clears throat> it looks like it was picked over but i'm not sure let me bring this down i know it's a um new tripod might be a little further away i have to adjust it but this is the first video with this one so here's a uh, hot wheels from the looks like from the around the 80s 1980s this one is the formula fever they call it it's in nice condition it's got some chips but None of these cars I was looking for, I was purchasing the whole thing for, or the cars I wanted to resell. So, here we go, a Matchbox Road Roller. Not bad. Now this one, I'm not sure if I have it. I may, but I may not. Some newer cars in here. Really weird how, the, how it's all mixed up. There's a newer Hot Wheels. Uh, what is this one? And I upgraded my tripod. Now I got to deal with lighting. This is a Scion. Much newer. Here's another newer Hot Wheels. To me, it looks like a fantasy car. Don't even know if I have. Yeah, it's a fantasy fast fish. And there's some older stuff in here, too. Your Royal Flash, which is cool. It's got some Tampa wear there, but it is a cool car. Always reminds me of the James Bond movie. Um, we had a, he, he drove a couple Lotuses in about two movies. But that one there, I, I like this car. This is a Hong Kong base. Pretty neat. Here's an oddball out of them all. A Yat Ming, which this will, I'll add this to the collection with my Yat Mings. Not terrible. But I do collect oddball cards. This is definitely a matchbox. Probably around 1970, 70, 1978, 79, maybe. It's a super fast Formula 500. There it is, an orange. It had some uh, 
stickers on there that are wore off, but the car is clean. It's got a chip there, <clears throat> but it is what it is. Major super fast base. So I got to catch up. I got so many videos, so many things to show you guys. This is another matchbox, but newer. A Viper. Dodge Viper. And we'll roll through these quick. Teetotaler. I always love the teetotalers. Love them. When I see them in a collection, I'm always interested in the collection. This one's got some wear to it. But that's cool. That draw my attention when he opened the box. Here's a Majorette. Beat up truck. That's tray number one. They're not full trays. Like I said, it looked like someone picked through this. But maybe he did. And picked out what he wanted and then gonna sell the rest here's one here's a cool one uh corgi corgi batmobile a little beat up condition this is normally how you find them the old corgis uh matchbox super fast like i said probably around 1980s this one's got opening doors really cool That's a really neat model. Vintage matchbox. You have the older wheels, the BP tanker truck that flips forward. The Stutz Blackhawk, a Hot Wheels model. Um, these aren't too tough to come by in mint condition. They're starting to get a little pricey. This one has some wear to it. And up next, this I don't have. It's kind of weird, right? Oh, it's a Husky. <clears throat> yeah, Husky Military. Now, I do not have this model. So, even though it's rough, it will go in my collection. Your Husky. Look out for these uh, oddball name brands. This one here doesn't even have a base. I guess it'd be good for customizing your fire truck. Forget what they call that. Maybe fire rescue. Here's a matchbox. A little newer. This is more towards the 90s, 1990s. There's your base. They still call them super fast because they got the super fast wheels. This one's in tan. Uh, looks like it's never been played with. Like I said, weird mix of cars. And this here's another one but this one uh, look the bumpers are bent can't really do much with it i have this car mint but this car is mint besides the bent bumpers and maybe i'll put a little heat to them bend them back because this car is so clean i'd, I'd hate to put it in my trailer in the dollar bin with broken bumpers that's where it end up but if the bumpers were a little straight, maybe I could get a little bit more or, um, you know, make somebody happy for their collection that doesn't have that. These I always look for with the roofs. I use the roofs to, um, you know, my, my better ones. If I find one with a roof, I'll use the roof and uh, upgrade the better condition ones. But this one's not in such good shape. It's the 30, I believe 31 doozy. I know it's a doozy. What do they call it? 31 doozy. I am correct. And this was a, a Larry Wood design. And very cool model. I like these. A lot of guys don't like the antique cars. This one should be a matchbox. Another vintage matchbox, right? Double check. Yep. <clears throat> Here's your... Tow truck still has the hook and beat up condition, but still it's pretty cool. So gas, I like that one, and another matchbox. They're still calling these super fast. This is more of uh, early '90s. You can tell by the tires. 
and kind of changed them a little bit. But I believe that's earlier 90s, 90s cars. All right, that's tray two. We need to get through these trays. Uh, a couple of them don't have nothing in them. Here, this one only has three. <clears throat> Let's whip through this one. Street Rotter. Beat up condition, but the windshield is still there. Normally you find them and the windshield's gone or the motor's gone, the motors can pull out. Your Street Rotter, this one's chipped up and beat up, but it's fairly nice. I like it. This one is totally beat up. Matchbox earlier. Uh, it's probably like 2000s. 2000 something. But it is beat to death. That's why I said this collection is so, so off the chain. Here's another Matchbox. Kind of weird mix of cars. This one has opening doors. It is a Mazda. You can see there, opening doors. They stopped calling these super fast. And I'm not sure what it is. Mazda RX-7. That's three. Coming down, here's a kid paint. Matchbox. Station wagon. Oh, back door opens. This would have been a nice car. This is a super fast 19 or probably late 70s, early 80s. But someone kid painted it. Maybe we can get that off, but it's on the glass too. So I don't know. 57 Chevy. One of my favorite cars when I was a kid. Love this model. It's all beat up on the hood or the roof. Basic wheel, and the tampos are nice, but the car, the, the roof just kills it. Uh, what a shame, what a shame. This one here, Ertl. This is a Ertl, made by Ertl car. And if you don't know, this is a kid painted, and this would have been your Dukes of Hazard Boss Hog car. Yep, and the kid painted it all over. Maybe I'll try something on that to rub it all off. I've seen videos where people do that. And um, I never really tried it. Here's a very early 2000, got to be 2020 something matchbox. Looks like a Jaguar. Uh, yeah, plastic base. Thought I had a metal. It's heavy. Okay. And this one, who knows what it was. <clears throat> it looks like it was a super van. It, it was a red line. Can you imagine this could have been the Jeffrey? No. Did they have the plastic base Jeffrey Toys R Us van? Or was it metal? Let me know. But it was a red line van at one point and all I have is the base that sucks your second wind looks like the speed racer car basic wheels rough condition here's a newer hot wheels we got two more trays to go guys stick with me this is definitely a newer hot wheels fantasy car don't know what they call it and I'm sure you're with me we really don't care here is a I haven't flipped it over yet I'm gonna tell you uh, I could tell by the wheels without flipping it over I'm trying to majorette let's see yep majorette I was trying to guess by the wheels uh, got some chipping on it but it would have had a, it's a truck cap. That's okay. These are some of the cars that I pulled out that I wanted to purchase out of the whole collection. Say Matchbox Rollomatic. Now it is missing the tracks, but it is in nice condition. So 
That's one I wanted. There's a Kenner car. I always buy the Kenners. Uh, it's in clean condition, but um, I always look out for base variations on them, so I don't leave them. These were the cars with the license plate. It would have had a state license plate on the back. Kenner Fast one. Here's one of the red lines out of here, which is pretty cool. The, um, what do they call it? Team Transport. Is it the Transport? Team Trailer. This is the Team Trailer. Now it is missing the door. And it is missing the interior. But mine has a, a broken post right here. So if you know, you can take this body off. I can take the top off of this base and swap the body. So I needed that for my, my little broken post on mine. So that's that was a cool cool grab. I know this is an Ertl, I'm sure. Yep, Ertl, NASCAR. I love the old school Ertls around. These are like early 80s, 90s, mid, mid 80s. Crown. Is it Crown Gasoline? I don't even think I have this one. But I love these old Ertl NASCAR. I don't really get into NASCAR too much, but the Ertl cars, I do. This one, I don't think I have at all. It's like a taxi. Matchbox. Um, opening doors. It's got your trailer hitch. Probably... Uh, you can't look at the base because that's your copyright uh, when they they copyrighted it. But I'm, I would guess around 1985, maybe. That's what it looks like. Looks like that era. A couple of Mustangs. I wasn't going to pass these up. Here's your orange Mustang. These are getting tougher and tougher to find. It's got a little bit of wear, but not too bad. Not too shabby. Mustang Cobra on the hood. And your orange and your yellow Mustang. There's another one. These were like uh, early 1982, around there. Between 82 and 85, I believe. There's another Hot Wheels Lotus. Little color, color variation from the white one. Um, there were some base variations, I believe. Not sure. This one's Malaysia. And that's when I have to check mine and see if it's a filler. Or it's definitely not an upgrade. And a Tamika. Definitely one of the Tamika. It opens up. I'm not going to open it all the way. Made in Japan. Love these Tamikas. Started hunting these a little while ago and been grabbing all the Japan Tamikas. Last tray. Come on, stick with me, guys. There's a matchbox. I need this for one of my uh, store displays, but it's missing the glass. It's in killer shape, but it's missing pieces. And something's broken off the back. Well, that's terrible. The U.S. mail truck. Jeep. Vintage matchbox. Oh, this is a vintage Husky. And there's not much left. Door's gone. Roof's gone. Interior's gone. And that's all you get. Here is a Auburn. Which is not worth much. Because the glass is busted out. Too bad it's the dark flat red, which would have been your first, one of your first models. And the bumpers are all there. Normally the bumpers are bent, broken, but this one is missing the glass, which is, uh, that's a shame. Here we go. I was looking at one of these about an hour ago in an auction. And I thought, wow, oh, man, I'm not going to bid on it. It was mint. I have this because I, it was recent. It was in my head. And then uh, 
this is why because this is the one I have and it's all beat up the wheels are all beat up this is a um oh uh, what name brand is that I believe it's Yatming I believe I can't see it my lights are going out Xylomax is it Xylomax no, I can't even read it it's either Xylomax or Yatming I believe it's Xylomax Ah, oh, should have been on that. <clears throat> Matchbox earlier. 2000. Man, recent. I think I've seen this in the stores. Probably have plenty of them. Newer Hot Wheels. Dodge Charger, I believe. Let's see if it says. Dodge Challenger. So there's a newer Hot Wheels. This is a probably 19, 1976, no, 1978. And this would have a, it's a 78, 79. It would have a cargo piece. It's like a train part for the uh, Matchbox line. Has a little cargo thing that goes on there. Don't have that. I have it, but um, not with the cargo. I need that. And here's your uh, forklift matchbox. This was a super fast later year, but it's missing the uh, forks. Bummer. Trey's busted on this. And here's your last Hot Wheels. And it's kind of interesting. Looks like it has glow-in-the-dark wheels. I'm going to try them out. But another fantasy vehicle. And... That's about it for that collection. Now, I did get in a, um, what did I get? Now, we'll do that on the next video. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and stay easy. Don't forget, keep on turning them Hot Wheels.